Am I the villain? Yes. What? You gaslit that man, 100%. 18 turning 19, and I'm 15 turning 16. He nutted fast as me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. Today's video will be with my man. Um, it will be with my boyfriend. Salem's gonna be in this video today. He went in the house really quickly, so I was like, okay, perfect time to just do like the intro. So we will be doing a with me while we read y'all confessions and while we talk to y'all because y'all be saying some wild shit. I'm going to be, you know, when Salem comes to the car. The way me and Salem are trying to do this is by like blocking off the spliff. So like the way we be doing it is like, going up and going down so like i'm trying to teach him this method <laughs> hopefully this time it's easier for him because the last time when we was filming he didn't really know like how to at the same time and like hide it so i'm gonna wait to see him come back to the car and then we're gonna get into the video y'all my vacation got canceled if you're not up to memo jet blue canceled our flight four hours before we were supposed to leave two hours before our uber was booked to bring us to jfk <laughs> they had no flights to Mexico, um, yeah, until the 4th. Our vacation was to the 3rd, so I'm not going nowhere no more. So I took this mini break from YouTube by accident, basically, because I was running around so much trying to get my stuff together for this vacation, I did not f edit. Like, I have these videos, I just never edited them, just for me to not be able to go. But just for that, I'm going to prank Salem right now for y'all. It wasn't for y'all because I didn't know this at this point, but. <sighs> y'all, I got a wax appointment tomorrow and it's with a man, so like I'm hella scared. <laughs> I'm Hey guys, I would like to stop our video real quick and jump in and thank our sponsorship for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan and Morgan. When injured in an accident, you deserve compensation and when it comes to choosing a law firm, it definitely matters. You can check out Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm nationwide. Morgan and Morgan actually has over 800 attorneys that specialize in every category of injury law. Nursing home abuse, car accident, work, slip and falls, etc, etc. And the best part about it is Morgan and Morgan's fee is free unless they win your case. There's no upfront costs and no sign-up fees. All the calls, meetings, investigations, texts are completely free unless they win your case. If you don't believe me, Morgan & Morgan has actually recovered over $13 billion for their clients. Over 3 million people trust Morgan & Morgan and call them in their time of need. And don't worry, they have a staff that's 24-7 with over 4,000 people who are ready to help you whenever you need. If you ever have a case question or concern, their staff is here to help. Getting started is easy. You can easily click the link down below in my description or you can dial pound law that's pound five to nine from your cell phone the one you on right now watching this video thank you morgan and morgan for sponsoring today's video now let's get back into it that's the only prank i ever got to give you until like after this video for real then i'm gonna have to take it up what do you mean what by, you mean uh, by that you said that shit earlier, but... <laughs> what do you mean you go to like you say hello to my camera yo mm -hmm. I'm back again this is like what the second video yeah y'all got me when i was in a real good moody last time are you in a good mood now no. Babe, look Let's how see. fat this fucking nugget is. That's not no 3.5. Babe, not this no, is the whole 3.5. That's not no fucking 3.5. Look at it, babe. Yeah, even if you give me the scale, <laughs> I'm gonna say, no, no. this not 3.5. This ain't 3.5. But you gotta give me one extra nug just to be safe. I can't even see. But, babe, it's so big, though. That is the whole 3.5. I know. God damn. <laughs> so I asked my IG. <laughs> Don't do that again. I'm gonna roll up because I guess, or you're gonna roll up. No, man, it don't matter. We roll on pre cones most of the time. I know how to roll on papers, but. Okay, we get it. Oh. Um. I'm not learning how to roll. I'm tired of learning. It's hard, and I just can't do it. Do you wanna do like advice for us, babe? Like, should she break up with her boyfriend? That's one of them. I just from the video, I was telling her, I was like, I hate actually telling y'all that my boyfriend has good. Cause I feel like y'all gonna go try to try it or something, you know? Try it is crazy. <laughs> I seen too many posts. They said, "Stop bragging about that fuck good before we go try it." You'll be surprised. I think that they be thinking that. <laughs> be surprised. 
Because <laughs> we be busted it. Okay, someone said, am I the villain? So let's see. First and foremost, I binge watch your videos and love having them play in the background while I'm doing stuff. I love you. Much love. I love you too. She said, I'm in my early 20s. I know what I want. His child. We have talked about kids before and every time he gives me the when it happens it happens story but in the same breath he loves to play the baby talk game and loves to make comments like i'm gonna put a baby in you i'm gonna give you a baby and just all talk baby talk he's getting me to you when she said that like, i signed that the out of you because I was like uh. <laughs> he's getting me all excited and hopeful that it'll happen but each and every time he hits me with the it's too soon not right now it'll happen when it happens and it low-key pisses me off he's giving my hopes up just to crush them and lately I've been debating on taking matters into my own hands like I got the good guy on one shoulder telling me don't do it you'll be breaking his trust and the bad guy on the other saying girl just do it I know it would be wrong to trick him into getting me pregnant, but at the same time, I'm tired of him beating around the bush and playing with my emotions. Am I the villain? Yes, you're the yes, f***ing villain, are. girl. Like if a man is openly communicating with you, like no, no, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't mind the idea of having a baby with you, because mm -hmm. clearly the man, you know what I mean. He bringing it up. He telling you like, yo, I'm a busting you. But it's just like, like you said, you're all in your early twenties. I'm pretty sure that man doesn't want to have a. A baby on his roster right now and it's clear in the story that he doesn't want it at this moment not saying he doesn't want it you gonna trap that man with a baby now when he don't want to be wrong you gonna wonder why and then, don't get me wrong like you could do that and be selfish about it but it's like the consequences and ripple effects that come with that though like when you make that baby are you gonna have a perfect family like is the father gonna be wrong is he gonna have ill intentions towards Word. you now i just say that's a bad idea in general yeah. <laughs> i would say mean? don't do that because not only are you taking away from the genuine experience of just finding out you're pregnant <laughs> Telling and your well, partner. if you want a baby that bad, then break up. <laughs> and but even then, it's like break up who, for what though? Like, I mean, yes, that for too. For me, but you can meet a person who wants a baby now, but like, girl, what time do you have with this person to really figure out if they're a good significant other? Like, if you know your boyfriend is gonna be a great father and all that, you have time. Like, you're literally in your twenties, girl. It's not like you're like. 30 years old and you're on the time clock and i feel like if you even express to him we're on a time crunch like you have a conversation with him that's so different i don't know as a person who kind of do the same thing it's because like we see that happening with you if well, that makes sense because i've never had baby talk with anybody else besides salem so like being in this relationship i'd be like oh my god like one little baby wouldn't hurt well, but then i realized like we yes, too young yeah. like we too it's not, young it's not even about the financials of it. it's just about mm. we still learning how mm -hmm. to like deal with each other in all different states all different aspects you know all different times of our life this is our prime years where we learn each other so to now bring a baby and say it would just make things a little bit more complicated when it yeah. comes to spending time with ourselves considering that you know me and ricky are like two big personalities and like we like doing stuff we like our freedom we don't like right. feeling clocked up you know what i mean right. we want to feel free for a bit i think it's okay even that she doesn't even want uh, a baby at this exact moment because it's like bro it's so much to do and so much to see no you know but i would yeah. say to like break up with your partner though and trap him is like absolutely wild i think that that's very selfish of you and i don't think you should do that at all and if you were to do that and he was to find out first off nobody not saying she can't do it to know that's like, not what i'm why? saying like, i'm know? just saying like bro when you do stuff for your own benefit the way the universe works is whatever you put out is wherever you get back but, so if your intentions were selfish and that man decides to be selfish with himself now and not really want to show up in the ways you want him to show up mm -hmm. then you know that's not saying it's right but i'm saying like you know that's that's how the world works the world doesn't owe you nothing but i think it's a bad idea i think it's a bad idea i don't mm -hmm. think you should do that child and then i could see her making her own self unhappy with that decision as well like it seems like such a decision that you'd probably want in the beginning because you're so sure of your partner but then the changes that come with it will go make you be like you know i should have never done that so man y'all just be careful yeah stay safe out there okay this one said my sister found out about me giving brain and losing my virginity what had happened was i was talking to this guy in may he was 18 turning 19 and i'm 15 turning 16. baby girl <laughs> you 15. This man is 18 turning 19. I mean, I guess. So it was a three year age gap, but one day I was texting him and he told me that he wanted me to suck his d And I didn't really know what to say, so nah, I- but suck the d <laughs> off you. That girl young ass 
Fuck, like, you very cool. Like, like these niggas be weird, bro, I'm telling you. And I didn't really know what to say, so when I replied, he told me that we should stop talking. Damn, girl, just nice. so? So when he said that, I told him I was down to do it. Fast forward, like, first off, like, oh, <laughs> like, oh my God, you're about to love me. What do you mean you're about to do it? Like, yeah. cause first off, if you, you tell him that, I don't home. really know what to say. And then he'd be like, I think we should stop talking because you don't want to suck his dick. It's like giving, like girl, it's giving you know creep. he only wants, like, you nah, know what he's here for. As a man, still creepy as hell. he's literally 19. Fast forward a couple of weeks, we finally link. So when he came, my sister was up. So I just walked out to the backyard, not thinking she would care, to be honest, and went to his car. So after me and him finished doing it, I put on my clothing, went home, just for my sister to meet me at the door. When I came inside, there was a little bit of dried on my... <laughs> there was a little bit of dry on my face, and she went through my snap and read our text between me and him and me and my friend's messages. So the next morning, she went through my messages again and found out I had sex with him. She thought I only sucked his but me and him had sex. Also, he blocked me literally the day after we had That's sex. He blocked me literally the day after we had sex because I left him undelivered. So I went to my other snap and pretended that my brother was texting him and yeah. Baby girl, <laughs> you're a victim. Respect. You're a victim. Yeah. Like literally. You're not saying that you you're a victim. Like Meaning a bad like week, yeah, but like but it's just like, honey. <laughs> you felt victim you to that. You <laughs> just got caught up in like the worst easiest way. Like, and that was the best way to play. The worst easiest way. Next time, have some self respect. Yeah, like focus just, on self respect. Just realize <laughs> this ain't this real. ain't that ain't and good. This is the real world. You know. Did you roll two or one? Just one for Okay, now. I'm gonna roll the other one. You wanna roll the other one mm -hmm. while I spark this one? Yeah. But basically, what I have to say to that girl is don't do no shit like that again. Don't fucking do that no more. Stop talking to older men. And if a man stops talking to you because you don't feel comfortable doing Bro, something, Bro, and if you say that shit verbally the first time, that's bad vibes. Yeah, like, why is he bad vibes. telling you we should stop Straight talking forward. just because just you don't wanna. You, he wanna stop talking to you. And then after you didn't respond to his sexual gesture, it's kind of weird. So a dumb got a crush on their dealer. It's me, I'm the dumb bitch. Inserts clown noise. So the first time I was in his car, he took me to a secondary location and kept asking me, what do I want to do? I'm very oblivious, but I did not want to have sex with this man in an apartment parking lot. He dropped me home and said he'll pick me up the next day. Next day comes and he starts telling me about myself, that I'm shy and I shouldn't be in the streets, that I don't know him, his windows are OD tinted, he could be dangerous, blah, blah, blah. Like, pull down your pants. Mm -hmm. Like, go pull down your pants. I'll be the judge if you're really dangerous. One minute it went from zero to a hundred. Especially zero. because she said, especially because I did not want to have sex with this man. Like, she right. definitely just said that. Yeah, like, word. she said, I'm very oblivious, but I did not want to so have sex with this man. She good that he was dangerous. She you said, said, let me see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> pull that thing out. It's so funny. Pull you that thing out right now. Like, you all the same for real. <laughs> you stay canoeing. You me? Yes, like you stay canoeing. Like, where's the scissors? But when she wet the blood. I don't be wetting the blood. Not too much. You don't be wetting the blood. I don't be wetting the blood. You don't be having lip gloss on and hitting the blood. I might. Woman and accountability. Beat me up about it. <laughs> so since then, he's been super annoying. He had a girl in the car the last time I brought from him in and made me sit in the back. Like, if you had someone in here, tell me to go to your window, dipshit. After this, he stood me up twice. All she said was, should I block him because I want pee-pee? Oh, and also, so like a year ago, I kissed Touch and for the first time. Now I'm up seven, but I only have two real bodies. I don't know, it just seemed like she put in too much, you know, thought into something that, that isn't meant to be put you can too much thought into a body. The plug clearly is just a nigga who just want to, you know? And she... But do he though? Because he's not even putting effort to like really get that cookie if he wanted it. At the end of the day, like he already made the first move. So it's like, now she have the decision to just have fun with the man and understand that it's not serious, you know. She just took a, a sudden interest into a fella and he cool enough to f Or she just gonna take him serious and get her heart broken. I just don't think too. you should take him serious. If you want the PP girl, then yeah, but at the expense of your own happiness, I don't feel like you should not not block him. Like, what is this man doing for you besides getting and you're paying him? So it's like, if you're paying the man for stuff, it's like, what is the reason you wouldn't block him? Like, if I'm paying a plug for you're blocked at the first time you piss me off. My man cheated on me by texting his ex and entertainer when we first started dating. Mm -hmm. I found messages and pics and vids when we moved in together of the having phone 
and he still had her nudes. Mm. After I confronted him, he said he wouldn't do it again and that was a while ago. Mm -hmm. I went through his phone and I blocked her everywhere. Mm -hmm. Couple months, content from OnlyFans girl and was talking and asking for specific vids and calling her beautiful. Mm. And she talking about how he loved her vids and her body. I'm finding these messages while I'm at the highest weight I've ever been and mm -hmm. felt like seeing that. I confronted him and he said he had certain needs and said he understood my feelings and said he wouldn't do it again. Now my ass is paranoid but we're still together and to this day I never cheated but I go through his phone constantly. Sad note, I found out he had a Twitter for vids and hit up girls to buy content. Knocking and I don't want that. I deleted his Twitter page. Love you Ricky. Oh, so sad. so sad. That's so horrible. <sighs> okay, being real, girl, I know you probably heard this from all your friends who you <laughs> told already about the situation. If you feel like you're at a point where you can't stop going through his phone, you can't ever have a free peace of mind. At this point, it's not even about the relationship, it's about you. You probably losing sleep. The fact that you're at your highest weight, then number two, the fact that he's like, I have needs, and these needs are literally f watching on Twitter and like going all his way to reach out to like he's crazy. going out his way and pay exactly <laughs> that is single man behavior that is not in a relationship behavior and I think that if you're not gonna ever get to a place with this man because he won't stop clearly he's not stopping when you first met him he already like disrespected you you know by doing that but um the fact that you even had to block these bitches, that's kind of blowing me because why do you have to make the step for this man to block them like he should have been had them blocked from when you pointed out the first issue you know what i mean you have to just choose yourself if that makes sense like if you start losing sleep about that you like laying next to him, you can't not not go through his phone and stuff literally gain that confidence in with yourself call it quits for a little bit and then possibly maybe discuss with him like where y'all can go from there because i know mentally you are drained especially because you mentioned like you're at your highest weight so i know you're probably feeling very insecure because the who he watching is nothing like you. I would say that's not really a man you should be dating right now because he's interested in things that's like really his wants. Stuff like going on only friends, messaging specific women, wanting to buy, maybe fly out, exchange pics, FT, all that. Bro, he's interested in a whole different life than what you're your offering together, right? especially because you live with him you now know what i mean preserve yourself mm -hmm. like be, Gain that be, confidence in be yourself. slow to speak now like i don't know i feel like at one point when me and ricky be having our rough patches she take time for herself and you know i take time for myself it kind of gives you a chance to really think about how you feel for real i would say spare yourself the mental sanity for real okay so i recently started dating this guy and now we reached the argument stage she also been like really freaky lately and I think it's becoming a big part of our relationship. We're long distance, so I understand being needy sometimes, but it seems like he's being a little too needy. Like, I could be talking about some random and he tell me he's hot. Yeah. To his bestie. <laughs> so, Salem has an accent, a Trinidadian accent, y'all. And I will not be putting subtitles over my man. Somebody better figure out what he's saying if you don't understand it, okay? I'm going to turn up the volume so y'all hear him loud and clear because he does not talk loud. Like, Salem does not talk very loud. I understand him, but some of y'all in the last vlog that we had together, or the first video we had together was like, am I the only one who doesn't understand what he's saying? Uh, I get it, and I'm pretty sure every other Caribbean in here get it, but that's just me. So I talked to his bestie because he knows him better than I do, and I don't know how I should tell him how I'm feeling without him getting hit. His bestie ends up telling him for me and my boyfriend automatically says if he think he's using me for my body, we should break up. I get really mad at my boyfriend because he suggests breaking up before even trying to talk to me about the situation. He then got jealous because I kept talking to his friend when I was literally asking about him the whole time. I feel like them is just who be knowing what they're doing. Like, why is you talking to my homie? If he told you to stop, speaking? just stop though. Like, you get what I'm saying? Word. Like, but like, why are they speaking word. still? Word. Like, after that conversation, why are you still talking to him? Word. Even if it's about me, why word. are you all speaking like, still? Like, I see where he coming from word. though. You weird. Sorry, I'm in my feelings. Let me let me go back to being an unbiased reader. <laughs> I also tried to be nice towards his friends to get along with them because I know he'd hate to see me hate his friends. <laughs> Explain to him that I don't like his friend and that I'm not a cheater and he admits that he was overthinking and that I was right. You gaslit that man 100%. This isn't the only time he accuses me of cheating. He literally says like because of the way I look I'm going to cheat and find somebody better than him. Okay, that I'm going insecure. to be 
the one to end the relationship. I told him, let's come to a compromise and reassure each other that what we're both thinking isn't true. Mm -hmm. It just feels like I have to step on eggshells around him because like everything upsets him. He wouldn't even let me post on my Instagram because he doesn't want people looking at me. He said, he says he'll himself if I leave. I know he's joking, but I think he's serious. I feel very trapped. What should I do? All right, bro. There's a lot to unpack here, babe. Hold on, let me right, change this bro. battery. He be needy, but she say she feel like he does be too needy. So she talked to the fella bestie because the bestie knows him better than she does. But immediately off the bat, like to me, that's weird because don't talk to nobody about me. Like, don't go asking no man about me that you could ask me yourself. Like, I think that. It's something to do with her being attractive. She probably gets like a lot of likes and attention from men on social media. Mm -hmm. And since they long distance, he feels like she be cheating. Like, why would I cut my fingernail with the scissor? This is that I do when I get comfortable around my man that I be forgetting I can't do on camera because y'all gonna think I'm unladylike. Like, I don't even be looking at how I look. It's so bad. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna think I'm a sloppy, big, nasty, fat bitch. That's probably the best thing he ever pulled. So, he don't know what to do if she was to ever just suddenly decide she wasn't interested in him anymore. Okay, so my take is about the whole situation is that from the beginning has been this way. He did not let her post pictures. He always made her start feeling like a little insecure about herself. He's overly sexual and things of that sort. I feel like all these red flags have been from the like beginning. Like she said before it was like okay but like now he's starting to like do it more and more and more. He's basically just now becoming very abusive. Saying things like he hurt himself if you guys stop talking and all that stuff is hella abusive. And I feel like her talking to the best friend was definitely a move where it was like, she wants to be with this man, she goes to his best friend. And I judged the book before a cover because when you hear all these things, as she explained herself more, I don't think that that was a move where she was being vicious. Like she was talking to the best friend on some like, oh, I want to fuck with you. But see, I think what happened is you kind of started finding a man who kind of understood where you was coming from. You finally started feeling heard and seen by the best friend. But see, that also will now make your boyfriend more aware of you guys' relationship. And now you have a relationship with his friends, which would make him even more crazier you know what i mean there's more of a cycle you're kind of starting to create this attachment to him of like being heard and seen girl you gotta let everybody go like if you let the boyfriend go let the best friend go you're gonna end up catching feelings for the best friend you're gonna end up liking the best friend because he the only who really hearing you out and really make you feel seen and probably not degrading you that's how i feel about it show my watch mama i don't know what you're talking about you don't know that song mm. you push back you bet not try it again! You bet not try it again! I'm a 22 year old female from NYC and I was living in Grand Concourse, Bronx at the time. So I was in a relationship with this person and they are polyamorous. They introduced me lifestyle to me, no cap. But I was like, alright, I'm only 21 at the time, so f it. I'm 22 now. So moving along, we started messing around with my best friend at the time and she ended up being a fing sneak ass right anyways she convinced me to look for a guy to link up with and you know the do 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 mind you i had been a lesbian up until this point somebody please buy me a new light because oh my goodness like wow that's like humiliating i'm sorry so i didn't even know the I was getting myself into. I worked at this delivery job in the city in the Lower East Side and there was this one finance guy. He was light skinned, Puerto Rican, a whole gang member, mind you. Just got out of the big house and had a baby mama with a child. I wasn't even pursuing this man. I kept turning him down, but I can't even lie, I liked his sexy ass. He was bad and I wasn't looking for nothing serious, so we started hanging out at work. And we ended up, I guess, love bombing me. We fucked twice, but man, I was disappointed. He nutted fast as me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't use a c them, so I gave me money for the plan B. But am I wrong for Loki wanting to have not taking the plan B and seeing what the f would happen? But they crazy, they crazy, they crazy, baby. Mama, too, she loved pulling out the glocky, so yeah. I don't know what she was talking about that yet. I still don't understand how it was polyamorous. Me neither. Mm -hmm. I liked you as a person in the beginning. I was like, okay, she younger, she lit, mm -hmm. she fing like do your thing. But then at the end, you was blowing me a little bit. Nah, I'm wasting. It's nothing quick. <laughs> me. Okay, how many times do you think you could give a bitch mid sex? Like it was mid, so many times until it was like you're done. Like for me, for example, it'd be like, how many times do you think you could do with a quick before I don't fuck you no more? 
terrible. What is terrible sex for you? Like, I've what would you it. say? Like, You've had, had terrible like, sex. I feel like when the moon is bad, <laughs> the girl awkward as shit. Okay. Um, she kind of sucks. For me, I feel like I could give a nigga like five times to fuck me in like different days. And if that shit is asked five times, you're probably going to turn me off and you're never going to see me again. But I've never been through that because... You're going to have to zoom in on that, but I had to split up. <laughs> Getting my get back on this cheating scumbag. Yeah, I'm going to call him Keith. Okay. Me and my boyfriend Keith, both 19 and fake name have been dating for a year and a half. Okay, so it's a fake name. Okay. He been cheating on me like most lying do. Ever since I left for college, but I was dumb and in love and took him back. Mm -hmm. It took a couple more times for me to catch him cheating to actually start by getting my get back on him. So we were cheating back and front on each other for a while. Then I got pregnant and hit a really low point because I had to get on him. After that, things between us went super downhill because he wasn't there for me during it. Was my it his? Plan. Yeah. It was his? Okay. Yeah, the boyfriend. My plan was just to continue using him until I went back to college and was on my own. But last night, Kevin got into a car accident. And while I was sitting on the edge of my seat worried about him, he sent me a picture of the crash. And a girl he told me not to worry about was in the photo. At 2 a.m., girl, and I been knew he was cheating. But the cheat right after, I had an abortion. It's crazy. So I don't know what I should do next. Like, his homeboy is too ugly to fuck. His brother's old and father. <laughs> she just like, hey, I'm like, she had an option, boy. Like, fuck. His, his father old, and I kind of broke up with him in the heat of the moment. Any advice would help. The worst thing you could do to a nigga like that is to just move on and never look back. Word, like, literally just move on. Just, just go about on. your life. Just Don't get back. No, no closure. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing bitter. Don't do, bro, nothing, bitter. Don't do nothing bitter. Don't text him. Don't contact. Literally, bro. Just cut every single thing. Ask don't him to please respect bro. your space. Like bro. literally, don't make it seem don't like. Don't make it seem oh, like. Oh, this want is just for now. Like, Where? Just go about your business. Go live your life. Nigga, if you gonna get in a car crash with a bitch who you told me not to worry about in the front seat, nigga, just go ahead and die while you at it. Like, Answer don't me a pic, bro. Like, don't send me no picture. Nigga. Like, I would have been like, Lord, Lord if you love me, you you like, I know he was arguing with her like this. I almost died, bro. Are you worried about a bitch, bro? Like, crash again. Bro, at least one thing, you you take the picture and you ain't put the bitch in it. But the bitch in it? You couldn't tell that move over? Right. Like, you, <laughs> you couldn't just tell that bitch. Yo, let me send my bitch a picture. I just got into an accident. You take a picture with one of the bitches you bitch had a problem with. And then you call her for remorse. Ask that bitch in the front seat for remorse. You Don't know? give him that you satisfaction, bro. You just just cut like, it. Just you're like, honestly, honestly kind of over it. Hey, uh, baby, I'm coming out. Uh, you coming out? Yeah. Okay, till See I came out, bye bye. Uh. Bye, guys. We're See ending the video time. here. Stay blessed. We love you. And we will see you in the next one. Adios. Babe, do that thumbnail with me.